something amazing is happening here in Port City and you should know about it. A brand new coral reef has recently started to emerge around the breakwater of the Colombo Port City, the one you see behind me. This is crazy because the Colombo Port City project just started nine years ago and they built this breakwater seven years ago. Generally, for coral reefs to grow to the extent it has here in the Colombo Port City takes way more years than that. So why did they grow so fast here in the sea of Sri Lanka? Many locations in Sri Lanka have naturally grown coral reefs. Jaffna, Thalpitiya, Trincomalee and Hektadur are just to name a few. They provide life and shelter to millions of marine life that inhabit the sea of Sri Lanka. With growth rates of 0.3 to 2 cm per year for massive corals and up to 10 cm per year for branching corals, it can take up to 10,000 years for a coral reef to form from a group of larvae. Depending on their size, barrier reefs and atolls can take from 100,000 to 30 million years to fully form. But a few months ago, a newly formed coral reef was discovered around the breakwater in Port City, Colombo. It was discovered by retired Admiral Pial de Silva, the 23rd commander of the Sri Lanka Navy, who is also a marine environment conservationist. When I was in Colombo in 2019, uh, I wanted to go on diving, so I selected the dive site of Port of Colombo. Uh, it's a uh, sunken shipwreck uh, called Astoria. On that particular day, when we came to the location and looked for the usual transit bearing, and I could not locate a particular uh, bearing point, because that point was covered by a building that has been constructed recently. So then I decided to uh, come to Port City, uh, breakwater, and dive there to see uh, whether any uh, any kind of uh, fish available there. So when I uh, dive along the breakwater, I realize that corals are growing. In most of the boulders and the china pots, china pots are the interlocks that are placed on the breakwater, top of the breakwater, uh, to make it uh, stronger. That basically fortify the uh, strength of the breakwater. Sometimes later, I met the uh, managing director of the Port City, then managing director, and explain him the situation and I requested from him to prevent any sand going to that side so that uh, it would, you know, uh, there could be some damage to the coral reef. So therefore, uh, avoid uh, sand being pumped to that area. He said, no, no, don't worry, the sand will not go to that area, it's only reclaiming this side, so that will be kept free. So from that point onward, I uh, took this uh, site as a research site for me and started uh, recording the uh, growth of corals. Right now, the corals are in the early stages. According to Admiral De Silva, this breakwater might eventually grow into a fully-fledged coral colony and may set a record as one of the longest man-made come natural coral reefs, possibly the longest in the entire globe. Admiral De Silva has begun a mission to replant the corals that have broken loose from the coral colony with the assistance of the Port City leadership and have begun to grow new corals making use of a recently established underwater coral nursery. The moment I inform uh, the uh, situation, the then managing director was very happy and uh, he said, okay, you can do whatever you want. Uh, if you want to study more, please go ahead and do. Uh, but at the moment, we cannot engage with you, uh, but we will give you whatever the support that you need. You know, that this breakwater has given a shelter. It has been designed by the port city planners uh, to, you know, create some kind of uh, fish breeding area. Much of the footage we show you is only the early stages of a coral reef. And according to science, two of the main factors for corals to grow so fast are number one, the water quality, and number two, the availability of sunlight. Our oceans naturally get them in abundance. Yeah, this reef, uh, if you take the whole reef to that account, it's growing very fast. I believe that the water quality here is very good and it has enough sunlight for the coral to uh, absorb. And also uh, this area has a lot of nutrients uh, in the water because of the current flow. And also uh, there are certain rivers fall into the sea. So therefore, uh, I can say 
that uh, the nutrient level is uh, very high. Unlike other countries, uh, Sri Lanka has uh, abundance uh, resources in the marine environment. So Sea of Sri Lanka is very important in this aspect. So these resources can be uh, uh, nicely harvested uh, for the benefit of the people. So our uh, marine ecology uh, has a vast uh, expansion. So many variety. If you even if you take this coral reef, uh, there are variety of species available, right? Within uh, length of four kilometers, right? And I am pretty sure that this uh, breakwater going to be the world longest man-made come natural coral reef. Man-made is the breakwater. Natural part is the natural growth of coral. We, we did not plant the corals, it naturally grew on the breakwater. A team of ex-Navy divers are working on this reef, making sure that it grows properly. This area is not open to the public yet, but very soon many of you will get a chance to see this in person. And when you do, please make sure to protect it. Only then we will be able to preserve it for future generations that deserve to see the beauty of the sea of Sri Lanka. Lakhnuan Varnakula Surya, Senita Sena Naika, News First, Colombo.